On the docket this morning, the Defense of Marriage Act, the United States versus Windsor. The best way to get a handle on it is to tell the story of the lady who's right up behind the microphones there. Edie Windsor, 83 years old, is a widow now, but she had 42 happy years with the love of her life, Thea Spire. I was the plaintiff in the, in the Windsor case, and I had this incredible lawyer. I was lucky enough to be the lawyer for this incredible plaintiff in the Windsor case. My first thought was this is the perfect case. She's the perfect plaintiff. This is the perfect story to explain uh, to Americans and to the Supreme Court why the dignity of gay people is so important. This is really a couple who truly lived the words in sickness and in health till death do us part. It was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful and exciting. We got some big news earlier today from the U.S. Supreme Court. In a historic move, the court has agreed to decide on whether the United States Constitution allows states to ban same-sex marriage. This case uh, will be the next big case uh, in which the court will determine uh, whether gay people should be treated like everyone else. Amicus brief comes from the Latin for friend and is a, a brief that means friend of the court. What's truly unique uh, and I, I would venture to say historic about this case and about this brief is that the uh, modern technology um, allows us and allows HRC to reach so many more people than have ever been reached before. I love it. I love the idea. I think it's important for the Supreme Court, for the justices, to see an incredible quantity of people. Americans are fair. They know about fairness. They like justice. And if everybody is signing this thing, I think the justices will read that. It's very important. Thepeoplesbrief.com is where you can go to read the brief, sign it, and join us in what is an incredible point in history. That will make a difference, just as Edie Windsor made a difference.